Good morning and welcome back to my kitchen. I'm starting uh, pretty early today preparing something for supper tonight and I thought I would do a, a little chuck roast. And sometimes I do the Instapot and sometimes I do it in the oven and today I'm just going to bake it in a 350 degree oven for about three hours. And if it's not tender, then I'll cook it a little bit longer. But I'm just going to show y'all how I do it. And sometimes you take for granted that people know how to cook everything you cook. But some of y'all may not cook pot roast. So I'm going to do it uh, and show you how I do it. And um, maybe you can learn a new trick or two. Now when I first get my roast out, I... Um, and if you notice, I use a lot of wax paper. It sure helps with the cleanup. Just lay it on your wax paper, roll it up, throw it away. But I make little holes in the roast, and I poke little pieces of garlic in. Now I'm going to make my little holes with this knife. Then I'm going to bring you all up close where you can see what I'm doing. Okay, I'm going to put a little bit of flour in there, and see how it starts to sizzle a little bit? That tells me that more than likely it is ready for my roast. So I'm just going to take it. Now I don't have about a fourth of a cup of oil in there. Just, well, maybe closer to a half. Just I just want it to have enough for the roast to um, be able to brown real good. And then I will save this. And when I get my roast completely cooked, I'll take the juice off the roast and I'll make gravy in this same skillet to go with the roast. I like to take the roast juice, make a roux out of flour and uh, the oil and some salt and pepper and onion garlic powder. And then I use the juice from the roast for the liquid. And if it's not quite enough, I'll add a little bit of beef broth or just water according to how strong the flavor is from the roast. Uh, but it makes a delicious gravy. So I'm going to get this browned off, and when I get it into my pan, I will um, bring you back and let you see how I put the vegetables in and what I do. Okay, I put, I always like to put a little bit of onion in the bottom and a little bit of garlic, and then I'm going to set the roast. I'm going to get it out of this skillet over here, and I'm just going to put my roast right on top of that little bed of onion. You can set it down. You have to be careful not to poke a hole in your tin foil. Now, here's what I do. I put some onion on the top. That's some carrot on my onion there. Put me some garlic around. I'm going to open up my... I use a package of Lipton's onion soup mix. And I'm just going to put it around. This just makes the juice more flavorable. I just sprinkle it around in there. Now, I'm going to open one can of Coca-Cola. Sometimes I use Coke. Sometimes I use all beef broth. But let me tell you, it'll make this roast tender and good. And the gravy will be delicious. Okay, my roast is done. And I'm going to make the gravy. Now, I've got a half a cup of oil in here. And I've got a cup of flour. The reason being, I've got six cups of liquid. And I may have to adjust that a little bit. But I want my gravy a little bit thicker. So I'm going to add about hmm, three-fourths of a teaspoon of salt. I don't want to over-salt it. And I'm going to add some black pepper to it. And then I'll taste it after a while when I get it done. And if I need to add a little bit more garlic and onion powder, I can. But now for a roast gravy, I'm going to cook this until it's a darker brown color. Because I like good brown gravy with my roast. And you see that roast. It's beautiful. I got it all plattered up. I'm going to show you here in a minute, but I'm going to get this gravy done first. Okay, can you see that this is almost the color of a piece of caramel candy? That's the color that you want it for your roast gravy, or if you're going to make brown water gravy, you want it um, about the color of caramel. You can get it a little darker if you want to. 
Now I'm going to add my juice in and it's going to make a fuming mess here, but And then I just lay my spatula flat on the bottom of the skillet and just do it in little circles until it mixes. Because if I get a whisk, I generally whisk it right on out of the skillet. And I don't like to clean up messes. Now I'm going to watch it and if it starts getting too thick, I'll add a little bit more broth to it. But I want it. Now your gravy always gets thicker when it cools in, in the ice box. So when you get it all going good and smooth, you want to let it cook a little while because you want to make sure, like I told you before, you don't want any raw flour flavor in anything. So we're just going to let it simmer on low for a little bit. And you have to watch it because it'll start popping out of there. And it'll pop on you if you're not careful. But um, let it simmer. And if, if it continues and it starts getting a little too thick, add you about a half a cup of water at a time until you get it the consistency that you want it. Okay, see the roast? Isn't it pretty? Got my potatoes and my carrots and then here's the, the cabbage. I didn't put as much cabbage, but see it's got the cooked onions on top of the roast. I can't wait to get some of it and put some of that gravy on it and taste it. I'll be back in just a little bit. Let me show you. The gravy is See simmering. That good brown gravy cooking. It'll be ready in about five or six minutes. Okay, I've plated it up. I've got my roast with some of the caramelized onions from the roast, the potatoes, the cabbage, all on the plate. And we're fixing to have supper here in just a minute. It's been good having y'all here with me in the kitchen today while I cooked. It takes a little while to make a roast and all the trimmings, but you know what? I got it in there, put it in the oven for three hours, <clears throat> took about ten minutes to make the gravy, and I have a complete meal on the table. I hope y'all will try my recipe, and if you do, let me know that you like it and it worked for you. And be sure and come back tomorrow because there will be another good recipe. Y'all have a blessed day. Make some memories around your dinner table, visiting with each other instead of whoever's on the phone.